If you've run afoul of the law in Valentine, then you've probably run into Sheriff Curtis Malloy, a man who takes his job very seriously protecting the people of this livestock town. A righteous but realistic man who understands that you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. One aware of the various issues in his town, and works seemingly tirelessly to maintain order. But it does appear as if our stand-up pillar of the community also has a secret, one that completely undermines his strong attitude towards law, order and righteousness. Our story begins in the livestock town of Valentine, of course. Early on in the game, you can actually pick up a bounty from here for Benedict Albright, a serial killer murdering people by selling them a fake miracle tonic, which is kind of irrelevant barring what happens when you return with Benedict Albright to the sheriff's office in Valentine. Oh my lord, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldorp was uh, just leaving. Sure. We appear to catch our esteemed Sheriff Malloy with his guard down, and when we walk in he seems to be making up excuses as to why this Mrs. Calthorpe was present, but it's very obvious that he's not telling us the true reason why she's there, and she definitely was not just leaving before we arrived. Now if we return to Valentine later and head to the upstairs part of the Sheriff's office, we will be met by some interesting dialogue. Oh, Nora, don't be like that, please! How do you want me to be? Well, I love you! You don't love anyone, not me, not your wife, no one. Oh, you're impossible. Impossible? Really? I've wasted years on you, and I'm impossible. If you're married, too, you can be impossible. Impossible? You are a sad little small-town, self-important rat of a man, you know that? A rat. A rat who thinks he's a cat, that's your problem. Go to hell. Come on. Come on. We hear an argument between Sheriff Malloy and Moira Calthorpe implying that they were having an affair, and this argument ends with the sound of somebody being strangled. Evidence of the affair can be found on the Sheriff's body if you so choose to kill him as on his body you will find a letter to Curtis from M, with M clearly being none other than Moira Calthorpe. Obviously, before reading the letter, you're going to want to abscond from the authorities because you just murdered someone in the middle of the street. The letter reads as follows. Curtis, this is too much, much too much. You are breaking my heart. I have disgraced myself as a wife, and now I am disgracing myself as a Christian. How can you do this to me? Does it make you happy to see me suffer so? Are you really that sick that you take pleasure in my suffering? M. This further reinforces the now known fact that Moira Calthorpe is Malloy's mistress. And Calthorpe wants to ditch Malloy, but for some reason she hasn't. And in overhearing an argument between Calthorpe and Malloy, we hear her being strangled. After this, we'll find Sheriff Curtis Malloy going about his daily business, but we will never see Moira Calthorpe nor hear from her ever again. He will simply go about his life like nothing happened. Apparently, there's a dialogue interaction between Arthur and the Sheriff where you can ask about Moira after she supposedly killed for the Sheriff to sort of squirm, though I couldn't get this to trigger. Furthermore, this is a dialogue interaction between Sheriff Malloy and Ellie Ann Swan that you can witness after you bring her into the Sheriff. Essentially, she lets the Sheriff know that she knows about Moira. Now, this doesn't suggest that she knows that the Sheriff killed her, but she definitely knows about the affair. I also noticed, and I don't know how related this is or if this happens in other sheriff's office, because honestly, I haven't really spent too much time in them barring picking up bounties and that. But if you spend too long lingering in the sheriff's office, then the deputy will ask you to leave. And if you don't, then you will become wanted. Though I'd imagine this is the same in every other sheriff's office going anyway. But you get the general point. The sheriff of Valentine is just as guilty of the crimes that he hangs people for. It's just like Moira said, Sheriff Malloy is a rat who thinks he's a cat. He believes himself to be the righteous protector of the livestock town that is Valentine, but in reality, he's just as much the criminal as those he's protecting the town from. You can also find one of the sheriff's deputies trying to extort money from the illegal operation going on 
in the Valentine doctor's office's back room. Though whether or not this corruption goes all the way back up to the sheriff himself is unknown. Though to be honest, considering how the sheriff is quite happy murdering somebody in the upstairs to the sheriff's office, I'd imagine him and his deputies are all in cahoots about it or whatever it is that they're up to. But I think that concludes today's video on the Valentine Sheriff Curtis Malloy. Not so upstanding and righteous after all, is he? So, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be really appreciated. Maybe consider becoming a patron as well. There's loads of extra cool stuff over there if you want it, though please don't feel forced to. Whether or not you think it's worth it is completely up to you. And of course, I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.